Good evening, people. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine. I'm ready to listen to, to your classmates. Very good. Okay, nice. Um, Hicieron el párrafo, lo que van a pasar ahora. Quiero ver quiénes de aquí no han pasado. Eh, Mr. Rafael, I guess. He didn't pass yesterday. Hello, Rafael. Hello, teacher. Are you ready to talk about your family? Yes. I write some about. Okay, that's nice. And also here I can identify a uh, social. Alexandra, would you pass today? Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. And also Mayra, I guess. She didn't pass yesterday. Also Diego Anthony. So, okay, let's start. It's nine o'clock. I mean, it's eight o'clock. Uh, so we will continue the presentation about your families. And for that, I, I need some volunteers to, to start. So, we're going to wait for the other ones, but if you want to start uh, right now, you can do that. Let me see, I'm going to share the PowerPoint. Okay, today is Thursday, August 12th, and this is the class number 13. After this class, we are uh, having only three more classes. So remember that just, uh, well, tomorrow we are going to have the class that we didn't have on, on Tuesday. So I hope you can uh, connect um, tomorrow so we can cover all the topics that is in the platform because tomorrow is the last day to cover the, the uh, part five of the platform. So I need someone to start today. The ones who feel ready to start. Who's ready to start? Okay, me. Okay, uh, Rafael will start. I'm going to take note. Yeah. You, you can start right now. Okay. Uh, hello, uh, my name is my name is Rafael, like my father and grandfather. I was born oh, in in Cojutepec and living too. Actually, Mary, I have one son. His name is Emilio and two daughters. Their names are Margarita and Gris. The last the last one is a baby. My daughter has any pets, I mean, uh, one beard, two turtles, and one dog. Emilio is my, is my eldest son. He's 12 years old, and he loves soccer. His favorite player is Cristiano Ronaldo. My, my wife works like a psychologist, and I am a lawyer, but I'm unemployed now. My family were built, but some died. I mean, I don't have grandparents, parents, and just two aunts. I have three sisters and two brothers. They are living in San Salvador. That is something about my family. 
Okay, thank you, Rafael. That's nice. Uh, you did a great job. And I could hear that your, uh, your children is around 12. Yeah. So he is very young. He's a teenager. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you for sharing with us about your family. Okay, thank you too. Okay, let's see who else is going to to talk about uh, his or her family after Rafael. Let's see. Um, social, are you ready? Okay. My name is Sochil Olmedo. I am 17 years old and I live in San Marcos. I have three sisters, one 32 years old with four children, another 29 single works in the government and the other 21 years old who is student medicine. I live with my parents and I am finished my high school, preparing, preparing to enter university in chemical pharmaceutical, no sé cómo se dice, and the degree in veterinary. Okay, thank you. So you are preparing to go to the university. And where do you want to go? Which university? Universidad Nacional. The US. Okay, that's good. So you are very young. You are really young. I guess you are one of the youngest here in the class because you are just finished high school. Ya casi. Almost. Okay, thank you, Sochi. That's good to know. And I wish you good luck in the university. Okay, let's continue. Um, let me see who, who else is here. Teacher, me. Mayra, Mayra, Mayra Lorena. Sí. Okay, go ahead, please. It's, it's short. <laughs> okay, no, I, no problem. I, uh, uh, my name is Mayra Lorena. I, I live in San Miguel. I, I am married. I have, I have uh, three sons, uh, Erasmo, Valentina, Celeste. Uh, um, uh, the three, the three students in un university. Only. Okay, good. Uh, I'm from San Miguel too. My family is sí. from San Miguel. Yes. And me as well. I'm from San Miguel. My family as well. Uh, okay. So we have something in common. <laughs> Okay, thank you, um, Mayra. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank so you. we are going to continue with another participant. Me, Manuel Aristides. Okay, Manuel, you can start. Okay. My name is Manuel Aristides, conocido por Tito Murcia. I live in San Salvador. I work in the National Theater of Minister of Cultura. I come from a big family. I have five sisters and a brother. Three of my two sisters live in New York. I have many nephews. Uh, nephews and nieces. Nephews. And I, I have no children. But, but I have four cats that I have rescued and adopted 
their name are Felix, Talia, Polo, and Bruno. Okay, good. Is that all? Oh, um, my uh, is um, forty years old. Ah, okay. So you love animals, cats. Yes, I love cats. Yes, I love cats. No, no, no dog. I love cats. You don't like dogs. I I don't like dogs. Why not? Why don't you like but, dogs? Um, um, for um, no sé, no me gusta que 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 laman. No sé cómo decir. Uh, it's more difficult to take care of them. Yeah. They are more hyperactive. Yes, and yes, sometimes yes. they are annoying that molestan mucho a la gente. And exactly. Cats are very quiet. Exactly. That's good. I like cats as well. But also I like dogs. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, Tito, Tito Murcia, I guess. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you very much for sharing with us. And let me see. I can see here Oscar Ortega. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, my name ahead. is Oscar. Okay, my name is Oscar Ortega. I am 39 year old. I am from the Osulutan. Uh, I am industrial engineer. Engineer. I work in in house uh, remodeling. Uh, I am divorced. Uh, I had a son. She has. Uh, I had a son. She has uh, eight year old, and I had, and and I had a, doubt, a daughter. Uh, she has. Uh, uh, 13, 13 year old, uh, a lie alone. Uh, it's no, it's no, it's not hot pants. I don't like taking care of animal. Okay, you don't like pets. So that uh, you don't like pets. That's good. Not everybody like like animals, and that that is okay. Okay, thank you, uh, Oscar, for sharing with us okay. a little bit about your family. So you you say that you live alone. Yes, yes, I do. Only, only you. Uh, or uh, you live with, with, with my you? with my with my sister. Uh, uh, como le, en, uh, en, in my house is, is, is two floor in, ah, two floors. in my in my third floor uh, life life me and two floor my my sister okay so you have a two floor house that's that's yes. really good okay thank you thank you very much okay so let's see who else. I guess. What's your name, Mister? Eliseo. Okay, Eliseo. Go ahead. My name is Eliseo. I'm from a really big family. I am separate. Divorce. Super. Separado. I have one child. Two child have three years. I like in La Panga. I have electrica and my free time play football soccer. I don't like the animals. Okay, you don't like animals too. Um, what is your favorite 
uh, your favorite team, your favorite soccer team? What is your favorite soccer team? Because you like playing soccer. Yes. Team, team, no sé qué significa. Uh, ¿Cuál es tu equipo favorito de soccer? Real uh, Madrid, 100%. <laughs> That's good. We, we share the same uh, team because I'm a fan as well. A Real Madrid yes. fan. So yes. let's see how they play this this season. Yes. yes. Let's hope they win a trophy at, uh, at least. Okay, thank you, um, Juan. Okay. For sharing with us. And we have almost uh, the participant already passed. Is there any anyone more? Me? Okay, ladies first. Thank you. Okay. My name is Alba. Alba Porta. Alba Porta. Okay. Yeah. Tell, about, tell us about your family, Alba. Okay, my name is Alba Portal. I'm 30 years old. I'm a lawyer. I live in San Salvador with my family. My family is very small. Um, I have one sister. Her name is, Al is Veronica. Thanks to her, I have two niece, niece. Um, I'm single and I don't have children. Um, I have a cat, her name is Mia and that is so. Okay, thank you. Uh, you have a cat. Yeah. And do you like playing with, uh, with him? Or with, with she? Uh, so so is a little hungry. Yeah, cats are, are like that. <laughs> are very quiet, very shy. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Alba. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, we are going to continue with. Uh, uh, who was the one who wanted to, to pass as well? Me. Uh, hello, my name is Rodrigo. I'm married and I have three children. I love, I, I live with my wife and my sons. I have two sisters and two, two nephews. My elder son and my elder nephew are college graduate. My second son is studying at the university, and my youngest daughter is in ninth, ninth grade. My elder sister lives in San Salvador, and the other one, uh, the young, my my younger sister, lives in Zacatepoluca with my parents. Uh, we don't have pets, but my a uh, younger sister has uh, a dog. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Rodrigo. Do you visit uh, your sister? Uh, yes. And where, yes, of course. where does she live? Uh, I have two sisters. The older lives in San Salvador. The younger live in Zacatecoluca. And where do you like going more? To San Salvador or to Zacatecoluca? I, I live in Zacatecoluca. I live in Zacatecoluca. Ah, okay. And where do you like more? Do you like here in, in San Salvador or, or in San Salvador? Uh, Zacatecoluca. Zacatecoluca, Zacatecoluca, definitely. Okay. Definitely, okay. It's more, more uh, 
Quiet. ¿Cómo se dice tranquilo? Quiet. 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 Yes. Ok. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Rodrigo. Let's see who else. Who is missing? Do everybody already uh, participate? I have uh, 24 of you have already passed. 24 are, have already passed. If there is anyone more, we are going to continue with the class because Me. of the, the time. Okay, Anthony. I have 18. I was born in San Salvador and I live in Zacatecoluca with my parents and siblings. I have one sister and one brother. In my family, we are five members. Some parents live in San Salvador and others in the United States. My grandparents live near to our house. I don't have pets and I'm currently studying computer system engineer in at the University of El Salvador. Okay, thank, thank you, um, Anthony. That's good to know. And uh, which year are you studying? Or which uh, semester? It's my second year. The second year. Yes. Okay, good luck. I wish you the best in the university. Thanks. Okay, uh, is anyone else? Is someone else who wants to share about your family? Everybody passed. Okay, everybody passed, already passed. So we are going to continue with the class. Um, so for this class, we are going to introduce another topic, which is this quantifier. Um, did you check the video that is in the portal about quantifiers? Do you know about quantifiers? Yes, I did the video in the platform. Okay, we are going to check about some vocabulary about quantifiers, and we are going to uh, discuss about the concept of quantifier. So for you to have clear the concept, uh, here it is. Let's see, please. Uh, Manuel de Jesus, can you help me reading the, the concept about quantifier? What are quantifiers? A quantifier is a word that usually goes before a noun to express the quantity of the object, for example, a little milk. Most quantifiers are followed by a noun because it is also possible to use them without the noun when it is clear what we are referring to. For example, do you want some milk? Just a little. It's clear that I mean a little milk. Okay, okay thank you very much, Manuel. So a quantifier is a word that usually goes before a noun. A noun means, um, let's see, uh, in Spanish, what is a noun? Do you recognize what is a noun? Nombre? Can be an, a name or can be an object. 
is uh, can be a uh, yeah, uh, and we express with quantifiers quantities. We talk about quantities, about numbers, but we quantifiers we don't specify exactly the the amount the number. It's just an we approximate uh, the quantity. For example, in this case, a little milk. Little, we know that can be a little child, but little milk means uh, poca, poca leche. We don't spe specify how much, how much milk we have. And quantifiers are followed by a noun. And sometimes we can uh, omit the noun. For example, in this case, there is a question, do you like, uh, do you want some milk? And the answer is just a little. Uh, it's not necessary to mention the noun because we already, we already know that we are talking about the milk, just a little milk. Uh, not necessary to mention the the now. So, para tener más claro, eh, aquí tengo más más ejemplos. Quantifiers. We use quantifier with uncountable nouns, with things that we can count, uncountable. For, in, for example, tell me one thing that we can't count. Something money. You can count money. Uh, as well, you can count. Uh huh. Tell me. People. People in general, we can count people, all the people. As well, we can count water and also air we can count air what else Spain. sugar the sugar rain lluvia rain ah rain yeah we mm -hmm. can count the the rain the water as well the sand that is uh, at the beach sand also, stars. The stars. The stars. We can start counting the star, but there are too much star, too a lot of stars. So we we will never finish counting them. As well, we can count salt, liquid. We can count a liquid. So for that, we use the quantifiers. In this case, uncountable, we use much, uh, a little, as well, little, very little, a bit, a great deal of, a large amount of, a large quantity of. So for those nouns, we use these uh, quantifiers. We don't specify the number because we can count uh, those now. Is that clear? What is a bit? A bit um, is similar, like a little. Is a bit like this. Okay. Thank you. A bit, un poquito. Uh, as I was telling, as I was telling you. Uh, hay algunos uh, nouns que nosotros no podemos contar, entonces usamos los quantifiers. En este caso, uh, much, en todos estos, podemos usarlos para, para describir o para mencionar uh, estos nouns, los que ya habíamos mencionado, la arena, uh, los líquidos en general, las estrellas, nosotros no podemos contar las estrellas. Uh, we can count the sugar, salt, and like that. On the other hand, 
Okay. Tell me your question. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, what means a great deal? A great, a great deal of, and a large amount of. A great deal of. Yes. Uh, this can be. Uh, uh, deal means uh, like a trato, but in this case, it doesn't mean like that. Uh, puede significar una gran cantidad. Una gran cantidad de. En a large amount of. Un, una gran uh, amount. También cantidad. Uh, are almost the same. O sea que prácticamente los tres significan lo mismo. Uh, basically, yes. It's okay, not. There is not a big difference. We, we, okay. You can use uh, whatever is, is better for you. A great deal of, a large amount of, a large quantity. Of, una gran cantidad. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We Richard, don't Richard, y, y, y esto de gran cantidad se puede ocupar en, no hay nada específico para ciertas, mm. uh, ciertas cosas que se ocupen eso. Ocupamos estas um, quantifiers cuando el, el no noun o contar. el sustantivo no se puede contar. Pero independientemente, las estrellas, el agua, el, la sal. Podemos no decir una, una gran cantidad de estrellas. This okay. night there is a large amount of star. This night I can see a large quantity of, of stars. Mm. Okay, great. Thank you. In the other hand, we have the countable nouns. That is in the other slide. This one. The things that we can count. For example, we can count uh, objects that is in your house. We can count computers. We can count animals or things like that that we can uh, touch and as well separate. We use this uh, countable noun, this quantifier. We use many, a few, few, very few, a number of, uh, several, a large number of, like in this one, a large uh, amount. But in this case, we specify the number, a large number of, a great number of, uh, a majority of, so in this case, yes, we can count the nouns. Podemos contar los sustantivos. And there are quantifiers that we can use with both, with countables and uncountables. We can use all, we can use enough, more and most, less and least, no and none, some, any, a lot of, lots of, plenty of. All, all these quantifiers can be used in both um, countables and countable nouns. So- What it means um, plenty of, plen plenty of. Plenty of means sufficient, sufficient okay. of anything, like suficiente. Thank you. For example, I have plenty of uh, orange in my in a, in my fridge. I don't need more because I have plenty. Or I can say I have enough, suficientes. I have enough, enough food in my refri in my fridge. Is there any other quantifier? that you want to know about? Is any other quantifier? So let's check. Here are some uh, charts, some tables. We use many plus countable, and we can say many pens, many pens, or you can say, many computers, 
and you can use also a lot of with countable, a lot of pens, un montón de lapiceros, many pens, many means muchos, and a lot of means bastantes, uh, un montón. And in this other side, we have much. We use much for uncountables. For example, much money. Uh, but you can also use a lot of, a lot of money with uncountables. Teacher, teacher, pero yo puedo contar mi dinero. Ahí, ¿cómo lo tomamos? Uh, yes, you, you can count the, the bills, los billetes. But in general, uh, because it's like the sand, es como la arena that is in the world. You can count all the the sand. Mm, you can yeah. count a grain, un granito, but not all the sand. Okay. Because much means cuánto, and many means cuántos. No puede decir usted cuántos, cuántos dinero tiene. Usted dice cuánto dinero tiene. How much money do you have? Mm -hmm. uh, sí, with, sí. with many, you, you can say how many coins do you have? Cuántas monedas usted tiene. Puede decir tengo 10 monedas. In this case, mm -hmm. are, yes, you can use many, but you have to specify if that is a coin or a bill, una moneda o un billete, but for quantity, you use much to, to talk about money, how much money. Okay, thank you. And in this other chart, we have few that is used with countable, few students. Pocos estudiantes. And we use a little with uncountable, a little water, a little salt, poca agua o poca salt. You can also use a uh, little with money. I have little money. I have little money. Tengo poco dinero. And also you can use some. If you don't want to specify how much do you have. Si no quiere especificar la cantidad que tiene, use some, algo. There is some milk. Hay algo de leche. There are some chips. Hay algunos chorritos. There isn't any milk. In this case, any is the, the quantifier. Any means ninguno. So there isn't any milk, no hay nada de leche. There aren't any chips, no hay ningún churrito. And we use any to ask questions. Is there any milk or are there any chips? You use any for to make questions. And we use how many to express the the countables now. For example, how many fours are there? Cuántos tenedores hay? How much can be used for uncountable? Like this, how much and how much? How much orange juice is there? No pregunta cuántas, cuántos jugos hay, sino que dice Cuánto jugo hay? How much orange juice uh, is there? So this this is a, a little bit confusing, a little bit tricky. So you have to be careful be careful with uh, with the uses. But these uh, charts are going to help you. And then we are I'm going to show you uh, some pictures that contains uh, countables and uncountable nouns. 
So I will ask you, do you have any questions? I know it's a little bit confusing. It's, it's un poco complicado to talk about these uh, topics, about quantifier. Do you have any question or I can go to the other slide? Any questions? No question, okay. You will have this presentation after the class so you can analyze a little bit slower. Okay, let's continue. Here I have some quantifiers, some nouns that we can count and some of them we, can, we cannot count, for example, we can count burgers, we can count sandwiches, the hot dogs, cherries, apples, grapes. You can count orange, olives, and watermelons. These are countable nouns. And in the other side, we have the uncountable nouns. We have bread, uh, fruit, juice, meat, rice, uh, we have uh, cereal, milk, coffee, and tea. But you can tell me, but I can count break, bread, bread. I'm sorry. Ustedes me pueden decir, pero yo puedo contar el pan. Yeah, but in this case, uh, you can count the pieces of bread. Because you don't say, give me a bread. It sounds weird in English. In Spanish, could be sound uh, acceptable. But in English, you don't say, I want a bread. Eh, no se puede usar así en, en el idioma inglés. En español, tal vez usted puede decir, deme un pan, deme un pan dulce. But because this, this is not a Spanish, we are talking about English you don't say give me a bread you can distinguish between a, a loaf of bread that is different a loaf of bread this is a loaf of bread this piece of bread and in this case you can count the bread a loaf of bread but in general not also fruits no puede decir in english give me a fruit no, you say, give me an orange or an apple. You can count them individually, but not together. And also the juice. You can say, give me a, a glass of juice, of grape juice. But in general, you can say, demi who in English, not. Also meat, you can count meat, rice, cereal, in general, you can count the grains, los granos, you can count them. So you just have to pay attention as well when there is liquid, something liquid like coffee and tea or milk, you can count them. Here are more examples. As you can see, these are vegetables. Uh, you can count them individually. You can count peas, tomatoes, carrots. Also, you can count pancakes and sausages, eggs, potatoes, cookies, fries, candy. But in this in this side, you can count the soap, the salt, the the flour, sugar, butter, cheese, and honey, water, chocolate. Uh, jam, seafood, and mustard. Todas estas cosas, uh, you can use quantifiers uh, with countable nouns. Are you um, getting the, the idea or lo estoy confundiendo más? Is, is this clear? Or do you need uh, yes, ex examples? Okay. Uh, okay, good. So you you just have you just have to analyze to pay attention. 
when you can count uh, a thing or when you cannot. So let's go to the other slide that I have some exercise that we are going to to analyze and we are going to to resolve. I'm going to go to the original presentation so I can type. I can type in the presentation, in the slide. Okay, let's see. Uh, we are going to complete the following exercises with the correct uh, quantifier. For example, you have to analyze uh, what is the noun and if you can count that or you cannot. In the first one, uh, we have, a, we are going to be late. There is too much or too many traffic. Too much. You, too much. Can you, can, can you count the traffic? Se puede contar el tráfico? No. no, 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 we cannot. So we use too much. Not. We use there is too much traffic. Okay, um, can somebody please help me reading this this part? Yeah. No. Yeah, the the number of people driving is incredible. The number, number. yeah, because uh, you can count the people number. that is nearby number. you. The number of people would be the correct one. El número de personas. Amount. Uh, we use amount to talk about, for example, the amount of water, la cantidad de agua, or the amount of uh, milk. In this case, people can be counted is, is a short uh, number. So in this case, it will be number. Number of people driving is incredible. Next one. I've never seen this many cars. Many cars. Many, many cars. I've never seen this many cars. Muchos. Because much uh, means uh, what does much mean? Mucho and many are means muchos with s plural ¿Cómo se traduciría en español? Porque se dice eh, me confundo un poco. I have never seen these many cars. Nunca he visto tantos carros. O Why muchos this? muchos carros. Como decir esta I don't know, this, this, this is the, the structure that I found. I never no seen yeah, The word no this is because I imagine you are in the traffic jam, in the traffic jam. Usted está en el tráfico y you use this to say esta cantidad de carros. This many cars. No se puede omitir. If you omit that, it will be, I never seen many cars. Um, sounds good, but grammatically, uh, we can use this. Grammaticamente okay. podemos usar this. Okay. Okay, number two. The number two. Some. How any. Some. I uh, read the complete uh, the complete line, please. The first the question. Can you bring soda to the picnic? 
I don't, I don't have, I don't have, have any. Song any. Or I don't have any. 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 Yeah. Any. Any because any means uh, nada, nothing. No tengo nada. I don't have any. Next one. Yeah, I think I have got some. Some. I have um, got some. Some. Um, got some. Because in this case, in this case, uh, there is soda. There is soda that left over the party. Que le quedó de la fiesta. There is soda. Number three. How do you feel about your new job? Do you have as much or, or as many? Much. Much. Uh, much. Can, can you count the much. responsibilities? Much. Responsibilities much. can be counted? Many. Much. It's much. ¿Puede much. contar much. las responsabilidades en su trabajo, no. sí o no? No. 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 I guess, yes. You can count the, your responsibilities. Why? For example, if I have only one responsibility, that is, uh, in my case, uh, for example, to send reports, I have only one responsibility. And I say, uh, that is accountable now. Sí, se pueden contar la responsabilidad. So in this case, it's many. many. Do you have as many? Do you have as many responsibilities as you used to do? Tienes tantas responsabilidades como has tenido? In this case, yes. You, you say many. Yes, yes. And next one. The job is great. I have about the same. The same. Can you amount. amount? This is the now, the work. Can you count the work? No. No. In this case, no, you can count the work. So you say amount. Am amount. Amount. The work. Cantidad. Amount. ¿Tienes la misma cantidad de trabajo? Um, can you read the complete line, please? The job is great. The job is great. I have amount, about the same amount of work to do as before, but I have less stress less and fewer problems. Less stress because few or fewer is used to to talk about countables now. So you use less. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Fewer or fewer? Fewer. Thanks. Fewer. Spanish teacher. In Spanish. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, remember that in this case la ER significa que es un superlativo es comparativo de la, la base forma la palabra base es few es few que significa poco más si, poco ajá si le agrega ER significa more than few o sea Even less, fewer, sería menos, fewer, uh, menos, menos problemas. Problemas. So this case will be fewer. Fewer, okay. 
So with this topic, do you have any question, any doubt? Is there anything that is confusing for you? About quantifiers? Yes. What do you use quantifiers, quantifiers for? ¿Cuál es el verdadero uso de los quantifiers? Modificar la cantidad del sustantivo. Ajá, para referirnos a una cierta cantidad sin decir exactamente cuánto, sin decir exactamente el nombre. Por ejemplo, hay algunos sustantivos que no se pueden contar, por ejemplo, el tráfico. El tráfico ya sabemos de que, de que obviamente no puede decir usted, hay dos tráficos, hay un tráfico. Solo, solamente decimos, ah, hay mucho tráfico. O para decir una cierta cantidad de cosas, un aproximado. We Estoy say, en el número, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. Sustituyen al número. Um, it's like we omit the number. Omitimos el, ajá, el número. Para decir aproximadamente alguna cantidad. No exactamente cuánto. So if we have time, we're going to watch the video that is in the platform that I guess is, is more clear, is clearly. Let's see if I have that. This is the about the family. This is the quantifier. This is there is a column with the percentage of the quantifier. So let's let's see. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. No. Okay, as you can see, there is a column with the percentage of the, con el aproximado de, de lo que podría ser el número. In this case, these are the quantifiers. Entonces, el quantifier is used when you don't know exactly the number. Cuando no sabemos exactamente la cantidad, we use quantifier, un aproximado. For example, nearly all. Casi todos, está llegando casi al 100%. Most, la mayoría. Many, ya va bajando un poco más. A lot of, you don't know the, the exactly amount. Eh, some, algunos, ya va bajando, ya estamos por la mitad. Not many, a few, uh, exactamente no sabe, uh, the couples, that have one, uh, have more than one child. So you say a few, algunas. And few es menos que a few. And al final we have the zero percent, no one, o sea, nadie. So usamos los quantifiers when you don't know exactly the number of the nouns. I have a question, teacher. Tell me. 
Eh, ¿Cuál estaría más cerca de la mitad? ¿A lo dos o son? In this case, will be some. Because a lot of significa todavía un montón de, un montón de familias. En some, estamos hablando de algunas todavía, algunas. Ya baja un poco la cantidad. Sí, gracias. Ok, yo voy con. Entonces, con, este, con esta columna, creo que les quedaría un poco más claro acerca de los quantifiers. ¿Cuál es el significado y cuándo lo pueden usar? Uh, if you don't have any questions, we are going to stop here because it's 9 p.m. Questions so far? I don't have questions. Okay, you don't have questions. So let me tell you that tomorrow will be um, the end of the platform. We are going to complete uh, these topics that are remaining here. So maybe we are, we are going to continue talking about the quantifiers or we are going to develop this exercise. So, por si alguno todavía le falta, que lo dudo porque ustedes ya me dijeron que ya avanzaron con la plataforma, ya la, ya la hicieron, ya, ya complementaron todo. Pero por si hay alguno que aún no me ha dicho que le falta algo, puede aprovechar estos días. Puede aprovechar mañana o el fin de semana. Porque ya luego de estas dos clases, ya mañana va a ser la última clase que vamos a preparar uh, usando los temas de aquí. Creo que este sería el último, los quantifiers. Luego el lunes vamos a hacer un repaso general de todos los temas. Así que si ustedes tienen alguna, alguna duda de algún tema de los que hemos visto en la plataforma, de que posiblemente no lo entendieron bien, no, no lo expliqué bien. Me pueden decir vía chat para poder preparar algunos ejemplos o ejercicios o aclarar más el concepto para que no quede así algo como en la luna, en el aire, que, que queden con más dudas. Así que ajá, dos cosas. Eh, si no han terminado, que lo dudo mucho porque ustedes sí ya avanzaron y ya me demostraron con las capturas de pantalla, pero por si a alguno le falta algo, tiene tiempo de terminarlo. Porque para el martes, que es la última clase, ya todos deben de haber terminado la plataforma. Todos deben de haber hecho hasta el examen ya final. Y la segunda es que si tienen alguna duda, algún tema que quieran repasar, me lo dicen para poder preparar eh, material con ese tema y poderlo ver lunes y martes. Thank you very much. Ok. Uh, if you don't have any more observation or questions, we are going to stop here. Eh, una, mañana no hay clase, ¿va? porque o, el, la, okay. cuando nos mandaron el comunicado dijeron que el, el, la clase del Miércoles la iban a responder el viernes, pero no sé si era cierto. Sí, de hecho sí hay clase mañana porque el viernes, no, el, perdón, el, el martes no hubo. Entonces para poder complementar la fecha que se ha especificado que termine el programa, que es el martes 17, tendríamos que estar ingresando mañana a la clase, a reponer la del martes, que no hubo. Ok. Para poder terminar el martes, exactamente, el 17. Okay. Así que uh, les pido disculpas por eso que no estaba en nuestras manos, que se cancelara la clase del martes y que se pasara para mañana. Y espero que se conecten mañana, por si tienen alguna duda y que de antemano me digan si quieren recapitular algún tema más. Podemos usar estos días para hacer eso. So, we're going to stop here. 
Están atentos a pagar. Um, vamos a estar pendientes del chat por si tienen alguna recomendación o alguna duda. Thank you. Así que los veo mañana, okay. por favor. Ok, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good